All right, it's open. What was that? It's the Von Eltia telling us they're approaching. Hurry! All right. We'll pop the gate open for her. Quickly. All right. Quickly. So, this opens the gate. One side, yes. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. All right, let's find the other device. And it's open. Let's meet up with the Von Eltia. Back to the docks. Let you do that. This is my. This is my. This is my fortress! <laughs> ah! An improvement. The compass. Hurricane. No escape. How's this? Down. Hurricane destruction. How's this? Down. Tremble. Last step. Too slow. Destruction. Destruction. Let's go. Hurricane. How's this? Down. Let's go. Tumble. Wind lash. Let's go. How's this? Hey. Hurricane. Tremble! Blast step! Hurricane! Deception! Hurricane! Tremble! Hurricane! Blast step! Hurricane! Wind lash! 
The docks are swarming with demons. The Von Eltia will be overrun. Rats, we don't have long. Aizen, can you signal for them to go through without stopping? That'd keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. Huh? Is there another option? Aizen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the Eifried Way. It's coming at full speed! Let's get a move on then. Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance? Nicely done! You're not going to thank your savior for her crafty cannonballing? Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun! And everything worked out, right? I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. Give it. I need to set a course. <sighs> Fine. You read it for me then. Yeah. But listen, kid. Give me one false reading and you're shark bait. <gasps> Better work hard. Um, what's Laffy said? 
It's a name. Your name. My... My name? Luffy said. It's a fine name. Well, it's no Mogilu. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Luffy said. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logris. Now this is refreshing, sailing into port like normal people. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Yes, I'm glad. This won't be a problem, docking a pirate ship here? So, how were the Northern Seas, Aizen? Helavis and Vortigern are in ruins. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. I'll have to act quickly. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Eifried was sent to Titania. The island prison overseen by the exorcists, huh? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logris. Lots of watchful eyes about. I see. So they exchange information for mooring. Information... for mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. I bet Aizen and his crew have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know that? Because I escaped from there. And before I did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Melchior. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections with the highest levels of the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Yes, at the Royal Villa in Logris. I've never been there, though. And Velvet, your business is with a man in the capital, right? Looks like we're all headed to the same place. I won't apologize for involving you. Usually I'm the one who says that. By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. Wind's kicking, and the tide's flowing, and we're stuck here. Then why not just set sail? Not going to happen. The Abbey hasn't given us permission yet. And we would need their permission, why? The Kingdom keeps a strict watch on harbors and sea routes. It's like they've erected walls and gates in the sea. Aha. Uh -huh. Midgand is spread across a number of islands. The sea is the only way to get from one place to another. If they can control the ships, they can control the flow of people, goods, and even information. Exactly. They even created that fortress, Vortigern, to help them do just that. It's restrictive, but it's also necessary. Demons are out at sea too, and exorcists are the only ones who can stand against them. Even still, it rubs me the wrong way. A sea dog obeys nothing but the winds and the waves.
Crabs are amazing, right? Oh, yeah! They're delicious, boiled or grilled. Even their innards are yummy. And five sets of legs, that's so many! That's all true. But what really makes them amazing is their miraculous ability to regenerate. They can detach their own legs when a predator attacks, which lets them get away. It's called autotomy. And then, not long after they detach their leg, a new one grows from the stump. Really? So you're saying we need to catch lots of crabs, then scare them so they detach their own legs? That's exactly what I'm saying, bro. We can harvest as much as we like. No one's thought of this before. We're geniuses. Huh. I never knew that. I thought only lizards could regrow a lost body part, and only their tails. Lizards? Do you think Dial's tail can grow back? If it does, we can make a killing by selling Dial tails. Would they be... tasty? No idea. Ugh, no way. Have you heard? Marcus and his pirates were taken out by the Royal Navy. So, they even got Marcus's crew now. Of the four pirate kings who terrorized Midgand, only Eifried and his crew remain. Aren't the seas still swarming with pirates? Only small fry that rob small civilian ships on the sly. But the only pirates left that can pick a fight with the Royal Navy and win are Eifried and his crew. In other words, the only ship left that's truly free is the Von Eltia. For a merchant, you really seem to like these pirates. He may be crooked, but money's not all he's after. If profit was his only desire, he could have made more by selling us out. <laughs> but that'd be too boring, don't you think? The fun's in making a killing by breaking the rules. <laughs> You're a funny guy. And that's why Ifri goes through him whenever we need to dock here. Hmm. Well, I can't say I've ever met a human like him. I've heard there's a prison island somewhere where they keep the worst of the worst, but it's a hard tale to swallow. It's true. And the rumors that hundreds of demons are in prison there? Fact. People say that no one has ever escaped from there alive. That one's a lie. After all, we're here. Wait, you don't mean... Keep your mouth shut. Otherwise, you'll fare worse than anyone on that island. Y yes sir I didn't hear a thing. Aizen told us to come see you. What's all this about a scouting ship? We're going to explore the outer seas. Oh, 
let me explain. Beyond the reaches of our kingdom lie vast, open oceans we call the Outer Seas. And you're going to explore them? What for? To make a map of the whole world, of course. A map of the whole world? That's right. Ifreed's pirates have many ambitions, one of which is the creation of a complete map describing the whole world. In fact, the Von Eltius already sailed all the way to the far continent for that very reason. That's amazing! You guys sure dream big. I still don't get it. Yeah, me neither. A map of a bunch of places nobody cares about? Big deal. Well, regardless, if we're going to find anything in the vast waters, we'll need a lot of luck. We'd like to borrow some of yours. And just how do you plan on doing that? I want you to use your gut instincts to tell us where to look. In exchange, the Von Eltia will be at your service. And you can keep anything we find in our explorations. You'll be able to assign us new orders from any location by using a kind of messenger bird called a Sylph Jay. Who knows? We might even come across some good treasure. Or maybe some rare food. Or brand new recipes. Hmm. That's a lot of treasure you could find. Doesn't sound bad to me. It won't take much of our time, and besides, it could be interesting. You're right. Okay, as long as I'm not responsible for how things turn out, I guess I can help. All right, then I'll tell you what you need to know. Scout ship setting sail. Take a look at this. So now we just wait for news. Who knows what we'll find? A sunken ship full of treasure, maybe? Underwater ruins? Desert islands? New shipping lanes, perhaps. Some fish would be enough for me, especially if they sell well. My thoughts exactly! Tuna or Yellowtail or Sturgeon! Sir, scouts have reported seeing a powerful demon. Its danger level has been classified as Code Red. Understood. I'll notify the Abbey we have a Code Red demon in our midst. Send out an emergency alert to the neighboring areas. Right! With wild demons this close to the capital, the Abbey must have had its hands full. Aizen, what did he mean by a Code Red demon? It's like a most wanted list for demons. From the latest I've heard, there's around 10 such demons across the territories. Oh, they sound pretty tough. That would be putting it lightly. Suffice it to say, you wouldn't want to face one unprepared. Then we'd best be prepared. Let's get going. While we're wasting time here, the Abbey is digging in. You said you heard about Eifried on the prison island, right? I heard an exorcist legate named Melchior took him away. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither do I. What about you, Mogilu? Word is he was taken away about a year ago. Caused quite a stir if I remember right. Everything about him was kept a tight secret. No one even knew what cell he was in. Eifried is an ordinary human, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the abilities of an exorcist. And he isn't a demon either. 
Weird. I mean, if they were just trying to bust up his gang, why capture him but leave the crew free? If not his gang, what business does the Abbey have with him then? We've cast our nets wide and can't come up with any explanation. We'll free him though. His place is on the sea with us. And you're convinced he's still alive? They wouldn't have any problems killing a pirate who caused them trouble. If the Abbey took him alive and for questioning, it means he has something they really want. But he isn't the type to change his ways or bend his knee on anyone's orders. He holds his own tiller. Precisely. <laughs>